let's take a look at your posture. And so if you run into the bathroom and take a quick selfie, let's look for a couple alignment points that really matter. Now, the thing to keep in mind with great posture is there's not any one perfect posture. Some people are gonna have a little more arch to their back. Some people are gonna have a little less. Some people are more curvy, some aren't. But there's some general alignment rules and tips that you need for optimal function, that you need to be strong, that you need to feel great. So let's go over a couple of those. So one of the biggest things is where your hips are positioned. So her hips are shifting forward. She's hanging forward in her hips. It's not dramatic, it's, uh, it's actually very small and I see a lot more dramatic than this. So if it's a dramatic shift forward, you will often see the shoulders sit way behind the, the bottom. So if I can draw a line right here, so you can see how her shoulders, her upper back area is behind her butt. Basically, you want this to be reversed. You want your bottom to stick out more than your upper back. Okay, so let's run over here to this picture and let's draw a line down. So you can see how if I'm overlapping, I need to start from the bottom. So if we draw a line here, you can see how her bottom sticks out just a little bit more than her upper back. All right, so what that is telling us is how much stress she is putting forward on her core. So a lot of women have trouble getting their abs back after having a baby. Maybe they have a diastasis that doesn't want to heal, or basically they just complain that their stomach is not what it used to be. So part of that is when we have this pregnant posture and we have this baby growing out in front of us, it makes our weight shift forward because it's such a heavy, just a heavy load, you know? So your body is compensating for that. So basically, after you have the baby, you've got to relearn how to stand without that weight there, but our body is so used to shifting forward and hanging. So basically, when you shift forward, you hang on your spine, which crams those little facet joints together, which we don't want to encourage any increase in arthritis and facet cramming. We want to fully support your spine. So when you shift forward, you hang on your spine, you also hang on the fascial support in the front of your core instead of it being aligned. So all I simply got her to do here is shift her hips back. She just shifted her hips back, kept everything else where it was, and her rib cage now stacked over her pelvis. She is not drawing in her belly button. I am not a fan of belly button drawing in. She's just simply shifting her hips back. And when you shift your hips back, you can support the spine and the pelvis a little bit from the bottom of the abs. So basically just a little teeny bit of support. You do not want to clench your abs. You do not want to be overly bracing. Um, those things can lead to trouble, but having a little support to come tall and to have tall posture. So she's grabbing her hair here. I'm having her grab back by the crown of her head and she's bringing her hips back with her other hand. So she's coming back while she's lifting up and that is creating a stacking and alignment, which is gonna help keep her core supported all day long, instead of shifting forward into her core, stretching out those muscles, creating, keeping that dasis from healing. So how you move and how you hold yourself is really important. So I want you to go take a selfie, and I want you to look at it. Does your upper back stick further back than your bottom? All right, is your bottom stick further out than your upper back? Does your rib cage look like it would line up with your pelvis? Okay, or does it look like your rib cage is shifted forward and you wouldn't have good pressure generation? Basically, you take a deep breath in, the rib cage needs to be aligned in such a way that it allows that breath to go down to your pelvic floor and then pressure to come back out. And that keeps a great functioning pelvic floor. So if we hang forward, it messes with that pressure system. So you ha can have both abdominal issues and pelvic floor issues by just utilizing a hanging uh, slouch posture instead of coming tall. And just to reiterate, she is not drawing her belly button in. She's just a rather skinny, um, trim woman. So uh, I really want to encourage you not to draw your belly button in. So you're gonna support your posture. Think about coming right from this pubic bone, lifting just a little bit through the crown of the head so this connects your core. 
you are not clenching your glutes and tucking them under. So if you are a glute clencher, go ahead and ditch that habit. And the other thing that you don't want to do for good posture is stick your butt out. All right, so there's a lot of stuff going around for postpartum women to just stick your bottom out. That'll help you heal everything. Now, the thing is, is you don't want to tuck your bottom under. That is bad. But the same token that that is bad, you also don't want to stick it out. There's something called neutral and middle ground. So just be careful that you don't go so far the opposite direction that you end up causing back pain. Because I hear that a lot in women. They're like, well, I tried sticking my butt out and it just called back caused me to have a backache. All right, so make sure that you unclench your glutes, you maintain that great alignment, but you don't go so far as to stick your butt out and go far into the other direction. All right, so middle ground. All right, so see if you can work on that alignment and just simply shifting back. And one tip that I really love for this is can you see your toes? All right, so just when you stand, glance down. Are you looking at your stomach or can you see your toes? And so if your hips are shifted way forward and your belly is way forward, you look down, you're just going to see body. Okay, so give that a shot and see if that little tip works for you and compare your posture in the mirror and see what it looks like.